Uh, Charlie Ranch, rolling with the flow. There we go, 9 oh, what time is it? Oh yeah, 9 oh, 8 in the morning. Friday morning, good morning, Double R Radio. We're not live yet. We're gonna go live, but we're not live yet. We're gonna go live, but we're not live yet. But we're gonna go live! Uh, in about 10 seconds. <clears throat> Get some coffee and clear the old throat here. Uh, that's what my prompt told me. Anyways, it's, uh... Ah! Good cafecito, man. Good stuff. What are they? Here we go. Let's go live. There we go, Charlie Ranch rolling with the flow, or it's like rolling with the dough. He made a lot. <laughs> he made a lot of money with that one. Rolling with the dough. There we go. Good morning, Wendell G S Double R Radio. Friday morning, free from Friday list. The last morning show for the year 2017. How sad, right? The last morning show for the year. Man, <laughs> you know, I totally forgot about that interview that uh, my sidekick, Doctor Pepino, had done with the, the Mayweather. It's the McG Gregor, I totally forgot about that interview, man. I'm losing it. I really, really am. Anyway, it is time for question of the day. Let's do some good morning shout-outs here. What are they? Here we go. Good morning shout-out. Good morning. Ramon de la Rosa. Buenos dias. Primo. Good morning. Primo. Hilda. Hinojosa. Hinojos. There we go. Good morning. Jess Lopez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Xavier X-Men in the casa. How you doing, amigo? Anyways, también Guadalupe Rodriguez. Good morning. Good morning. Rebecca Trevino. Good morning, Becca. Is it Becca or Rebecca? Because I know some Rebecca's that like to be called Becca. And I know some Rebecca's that like to be called Rebecca. So look, is it Becca or is it Rebecca? We're going to have to figure that one out. Now, uh, before I get to my question of the day, let's see here what's going on. Check out this crazy story, man. <laughs> a sailor. A sailor and his cat were rescued after seven months of drifting in the Indian Ocean. How crazy is that? A sailor and his cat were rescued. After seven months of drifting in the Indian Ocean, the the man was 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 asked, "Hey, dude, how did you do it? How did you deal with loneliness?" He goes, "I don't know. I just know my cat pregnant." So, I mean, obviously, he dealt with loneliness by his, uh, making love to his cat. So, um, well, anyway, the cat is expecting us to uh, seven little kitties, and uh, he's probably going to be paying kitty support. There you have it. So, anyways. Figure that one out. A sailor and his cat rescued after seven months of drifting in the Indian Ocean. Hey, man, I don't blame the guy. You know, hey, man, he had to deal with loneliness one way or the other. So, as he was quoted as saying, all I know is that my cat pregnant. So, there you go. The cat's pregnant, and they're going to live happily ever after, man. How do you do it? How do you deal with the, you know, floating around in the ocean? From, <laughs> I can't even deal being on a waterbed for more than ten minutes than to be in the Indian Ocean for seven months. I don't think so. There we go. Good morning, shout out to Rebecca Trevino who says, Good morning, Robert. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Rebecca. Be sure and join me. Sunday night, Rebecca. Be sure and join me. Vicky Cruz. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Cynthia. Go Cynthia, where the hell have you been, Cynthia? Hang on, I gotta get after Cynthia. 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 Look at me. Look, I. Look, I. Cynthia, where have you been, Cynthia? What's your problem? <laughs> right, getting after my listeners, right? Uh, Julia and G. Castro, good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyway, I tell you what, let's see here what else is going on. Maria Lopez, San Antonio, Texas, good morning. Check this out, man. This story's a crazy one. A woman rode her motorbike naked, got fingered. <laughs> got fingered in the street and punched a blind man. <laughs> I haven't heard that got fingered in a long <laughs> A woman has been jailed and banned from entering as the Joaquin, whatever the hell that is, after she punched a blind man and was caught in the middle of a sex act in the street. Hang on, the 36-year-old woman was described as a mess by a judge after she turned up by court four hours late as the, in a 13-month prison sentence. Uh, the, the judge revealed that she had been caught riding, riding uh, through downtown naked on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> How does a woman drive? <laughs> You're driving naked on a motorcycle through downtown. Woohoo! And anyways, just, uh, <laughs> she pleaded guilty to outraging, outrageous public decency. Whatever the hell that is, anyways. I get a kick out of this. You know, and to top it off, she's riding around naked on a motorcycle, okay? And uh, she goes and punches a blind man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, poor blind man. How can how in the hell do you want to punch a blind man? Come on, even I wouldn't do that. Come on. I mean, I like the odds in my favor, but not that much. Come on, man. I'm gonna go up to a blind man. I'm not gonna do that to a blind man. Please, I would never do that. 
Although it is an idea, but I won't do it. Good morning, John. I got up to Bobby Flores. How are you doing, amigo? Bobby Flores. Good morning, Robert. Have a great and safe day, my friend. And you as well, Bobby. Hopefully you're doing okay, man. Keep on posting some of those songs you're posting, amigo. Simply love them. There we go. And it's a good morning, John. I got up to Tere Salazar. I like that. She didn't put Terry. She put it like Mexicano. Tere. Tere Salazar. Eh? Tere. Anyway, <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like we're in the back seat of the car. Tere. Tere. Anyways, it's a good morning shout out going to Mercy Perez Delgado. Good morning, Mercy. Lord have mercy. Linda Rizzo. Good morning. Good morning. Primo. Otro. Hello, Libas. Mercy Perez Delgado says, Good morning. Good bud. Wow, she's calling me bud. Good morning, bud. Pues que pasó, otro ca? Que pasó? Oh, there we go. Anyways, hola from Three Rivers. Linda Rizzo. You know what? I've been to Three Rivers. Now, when I went to Three Rivers, I started counting. I only counted two. What the hell? Why do they call you all Three Rivers? I only counted two. What's going on here? That's false advertisement. But actually, there is a restaurant. I used to stop in Three Rivers. I don't remember the name of it, but they used to have some awesome onion rings in Three Rivers. I would tell I remember. Good morning, shout out to Joyce Adragon Rivas, who uh, posted a video of her wearing sunglasses and she was styling and profiling. Right, Joyce? Right, Joyce? I saw that video, Joyce. You were styling and profiling and smoking some weed and doing some shots and I go wow la Joyce man that's the getting her little buzz on right Joyce anyways good morning shout out to that there we go there we go there we go okay Chico <laughs> anyways um let's see here uh sailor talked about the woman riding naked let's get to question of the day now this is going to be really interesting ladies you're not going to like what I'm going to say but that's okay it's not going to be the first time the other day, I saw a lady walking in downtown San Antonio. This is all true. Listen up, ladies. Listen up and listen good. I'm not making this up either. I saw a lady walking through downtown San Antonio, and she was wearing these kind of sandals, shoes. I don't know what they were called till I looked it up right now. Anyways, good morning, John. I'm going to say Isabel Rodriguez. Good morning, good morning. Linda Rizzo. Good morning, good morning. There we go. Arascosa, Frio, and Nueces. Huh? Oh, Linda, Linda's telling me that three rivers that go through three rivers. It's the Arascosa. The Frio and the Nueces. Okay, Linda, I stand corrected. I apologize, Linda. I'll never do that again. I'm sorry, Linda. I'll send you a gift card, $100. Sylvia Cervantes Bustos. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. So now, I ran out. I saw this lady in downtown San Antonio like three or four days ago wearing some uh, sandals slash shoes that looked very, very complicated. And I thought to myself, why do women wear these kind of shoes? Now, I looked them up, and they're called gladiator sandals. Do you know what I'm talking about? My question of the day, and we're going to talk about this right now. Question of the day. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Gladiator sandals. Hell yes or hell no. Now, I posted the picture on Robert Eva's Internet Radio group page right now. Check them out, and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's those sandals where they wrap around your ankle and keep on going up all the way to close to your knee. You know those kind of sandals? Why would you want to complicate matters? You know, this reminds me. This stuff right here, those gladiator sandals, reminds me. When I took out a girl back in the 80s, no lie, man, I picked up a girl back in the 80s, and I took her back to a little hotel action, you know, and she was wearing some of these gladiator sandals. I didn't like them, but that's okay. I was going to get past them. That's okay. So I tried being romantic. You know, I got the room for two hours. No lie, that's all I could avoid, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I took the girl to a hotel room, got the room for two hours, and I tried being romantic because she was wearing these gladiator sandals, and I told her, no, 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 baby, I'll take them off for you. I'll take off your gladiator sandals. And I'm not going to lie to you, it took all two hours of my hotel room to take off those stupid gladiator sandals. Why do y'all complicate matters? Quit wearing complicated things. I've never understood why a woman would want to wear these complicated gladiator sandals. But I see women wearing them all the time. Why? <laughs> really? How long does it take to get them on? And even worse, how long does it take to get them off? It took me two hours to take gladiator sandals off of a girl. I'm never, ever doing that again. Man, so anyways, head on over to Robert Reaver's Internet Radio group page right now and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Gladiator sandals, hell yes or hell no? <laughs> I'm looking at the picture right now and I'm going like, I never want to see gladiator sandals again. What's the matter with y'all ladies? Head on over there and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Let's keep it going, little something by Intocable. 
Swania. Good morning, Friday morning, Freeform Friday, Double R Radio. Handle. Not really, ladies. I'm not making the radio stations going, so we can talk here a little bit. We know the radio stations going. Rosie Gonzalez. Good morning, Rosie. How we doing? Anyways, it's the Joyce. Oh, hey, Joyce. I gotta ask you, Joyce. Uh, what made you want to post that video of you getting high and stuff? Because you had the sunglasses on, you were doing a little weed, and you were taking a couple of shots. And where was the husband? That's what I want to know, Joyce. Where was the husband when you were doing all this? You were getting your buzz on, and the husband was nowhere to be found. That's what I want. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, where was the hubby? Good morning, John. I got to Nicole. Olveda. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do y'all see my Michelob Ultra Neon? Woohoo! Eh? After 10,000 beers, did you get one of these? <laughs> eh? After 10,000 Michelob Ultras, you get one of these. I hit 10,000 about two weeks ago. Woohoo! What an alcoholic, right? Good morning, John. I got to John Zapata. When is this? When is this? Sunday night from 9 p.m. all the way to midnight. Join me, and I'm going to be bringing in 2018. Join me, and let's do it. Let's bring them 2018 together. Let's get back to the morning show. RobertReversRadio.com. Click on the blue button. You know what I'm talking about. Good morning.